do you think should win the All Valley Tournament in Cobra Kai Season 4? Let me know in the comment section down below. Yo, what is good YouTube? Back at y'all with some different content. We are talking some Cobra Kai and this is some content that I plan on posting my channel for quite some time. And who knows, it might be my new thing, who knows. But let me know if you like this kind of content. And let me know if you want me to post more about Cobra Kai. Or if there's some other shows. I know I'm going to make videos about the Umbrella Academy as well. Cobra Kai and Umbrella Academy are my top two shows on Netflix. Those will be the top shows I make videos about in this series. But let me know what other Netflix shows you want me to watch or cover. So, yeah. So Cobra Kai Season 4 is upon us, and it looks like the season will be building up towards the All-Valley Tournament. Because remember, in the Season 3 finale, there was a little, I guess you can say, wager. Kreese says if Miyagi-Do or Eagle Fang wins the All-Valley Tournament, he'll just fuck off. But if a Cobra Kai member wins, then, well, Kreese ain't going nowhere so obviously i'm gonna be basing my predictions off of what i saw in season three and maybe like parts of one and two but mainly three but obviously a lot can happen in season four i mean we might have a new karate kid like perhaps hawk could be the new karate kid like how hawk i said like hawk i said hawk twice I meant to say like Miguel in Season 1, Miguel was clearly the Karate Kid in Cobra Kai Season 1. And you know, it built towards his transformation, him learning Karate, and he would eventually win the All Valley Tournament. Now, we could have a Miguel repeat because you know, his rehabilitation is going to be a big part of the storyline. He's likely going to get jumped along with Hawk and Dimitri and maybe even Sam by Cobra Kai. Tori did tell all of them to watch the back and threaten Sam saying that this ain't over and this will never be over. So who knows, maybe Miguel might get re-injured. Maybe they might injure Hawk before the tournament. Maybe Dimitri will get injured. And maybe even Sam will get injured, but I don't think it'll be Sam. It might be it if you heard that phone notification. The only problem with Miguel winning the whole thing, now I wouldn't absolutely hate it because I do think Miguel is a great character and he is a credible fighter and you know, they did build him up to be the Karate Kid and I loved his journey throughout Cobra Kai, you know, him learning karate in season one, him doing rehab in season three with Johnny. So him winning in the championship against Robbie in a rematch who like, looks like Robbie will be a villain, maybe he'll turn good, who knows. And maybe he'll fight Kyler in the championship. Like, maybe Kyler can get really good at karate. And, you know, they can fight in the championship. But the problem with that is, we see Miguel whoop Kyler's ass enough. So, I don't think we need that. So, Miguel winning the whole thing is definitely a possibility. One of the top three favorites, along with Miguel, is Robbie to win. Because, you know, Terry Silver is supposedly back for Cobra Kai Season 4 and Season 5. Why would he be in Season 5? If Cobra Kai is going to lose the tournament. So if Cobra Kai is going to win the tournament. Who would win from Cobra Kai? You could say Tori. But eh. I think Robbie has a really good chance of winning. He's going to you know learn a lot from Kreese. And he's probably going to use dirty tactics to win the tournament. Not to mention he's already really skilled and good at karate. And for some reason the show is building him up to be one of the best and they're trying to make it seem like he's one of the more interesting characters and they want to build him up to be one of the best even though most people such as myself couldn't care less about him because I personally think Robbie is a sh character but you know the show builds him up and I could definitely see him winning but would he win for Cobra Kai as a bad guy or maybe he could turn good and turn on Cobra Kai and maybe represent Eagle Fang or uh, Miyagi-Do, which I don't think would make sense, but that could happen too. I mean, there are the scenarios where Robbie could fight Sam in a final four perhaps, and maybe Robbie would cheat to beat her, or maybe the other way around. Maybe he would fight Miguel in the final four and cheat to beat him, like how Miguel cheated to beat him in season one, and Robbie could fight Sam in the championship with Sam come off a victory against Tori in the final four. Sam versus Robbie, is going to happen in the tournament whether it's in final four the championship or 
anywhere in the tournament. It's gonna happen. So Robbie winning could be the bad ending that could make sense. Because he is a really good fighter. He is one of the best fighters in the show, as he's written as. And, you know, Kreese could win this round. And Season 5 could be a different story. And the last of the three that are heavily favored, along with Miguel and Robbie, is Sam. And to be honest, Sam is my pick to win the All Valley Tournament. That does not mean that's what I want. That is surely not what I would want. It would be the most boring and anticlimactic finish. But as we know, as much as I love Daniel from the Karate Kid, I know a lot of you don't. And you know, Cobra Kai, you know, Daniel's not as cool, obviously. But I just can't hate Daniel, man. After watching The Karate Kid, you can't hate Daniel. I don't care. Even if you're Team Johnny, you can't hate Daniel. However, I gotta admit, the LaRussos do have that plot armor. So, Sam is built up to be the hero of Cobra Kai, which I really don't understand why. It's obviously not very fun. It's boring. And Sam, is, she's an okay character. It's just she's not... You know, she already grew up knowing karate from Daniel. She didn't have to go through what Miguel went through, what Hawk went through. Even Robbie had a rough life growing up. So even Robbie's background and him getting into karate is a little more interesting. Sam is just Daniel's daughter. And there's really not much more than that other than, you know, she goes from guy to guy and starts fights. Whether the intentions are good or not. But because she is a LaRusso, her dad did win All Valley twice, so the show will probably let her win the All Valley Tournament. Because the show does want her to be looked at as the hero, or one of the heroes, but really none of us want that. Like, we want Miguel or Hawk to be the hero, and some of you want Robbie for some reason. Not best for the show. But I could see her beating Robbie in the championship or Final Four. And I can see her being Tori in the Final Four Championship. The problem with that though is Season 3 was like building this storyline that Sam was afraid of Tori. Because she was traumatized by the actions of the Season 2 finale. But at the end of Season 3, Sam overcame that fear and said, I'm not afraid of you. So are we going to rebuild that? Like is Sam going to be afraid of Tori again in the tournament and Daniel's going to be like, Okay, I lose to a opponent, not to fear, like how Mr. Miyagi would say. Like, you know what I mean? We already had Sam overcome her fear of Tori, so we don't need that again. So, I really hope the show doesn't do that. Sam versus Robbie, if Sam's gonna win, her beating Robbie in the championship would be much better because there is history between them. Sam already overcame her fear of Tori. I'm not saying Sam can't fight Tori in a tournament and beat her, I'm just saying it wouldn't make for a good championship. Not to mention, Tori's already lost a lot of fights, so I don't think any of us are expecting Tori to be a contender. We all know the true contenders are Miguel, Robbie, and Sam. But we all know Season 4 is a lot that can happen. There's going to be new fighters. There might be some new threats from another dojo that could win the whole thing. Maybe Terry Silver might just turn on Kreese and open up his own dojo. That wouldn't happen, that wouldn't make much sense. But you never know. Plus we saw leaked photos of Robbie with his prison mate at a house. So it looks like he's coming out of prison. He'll be recruited to Cobra Kai and he could be a contender and perhaps could change the game. He might be the guy that gets disqualified for injuring someone, aka Hawk or Miguel. But how do you think it's gonna go down? I'm sure a lot of you have the same opinion it's probably between Miguel, Robbie, or Sam. Even if they add new threats, you know. Those three, well, it's a lock one of them will win. But who do I think should win? That will be a topic for another video. Because it is not one of those three. But let me know how you think it will go down. How do you want it to go down? Who do you think should win? Who do you want to win? Let me know in the comments down below. And once again, let me know if you want more content like this. To close this video off, I know only the real ones got to this point in the video, so I actually have my own store. First link down below, it's all concentrated organic products, all natural, no chemicals, none of that stuff, energy drinks, vitamins, laundry detergent, toothpaste, you name it. It's all down below. 
If you're interested in signing up as a customer, DM me on Twitter. The DMs are open. I'll be glad to help and if you have any questions in that regard. But till next time, I am out. Peace.